a brawl for the first... I will show you the first sound of this game. It reminds me of Minecraft. The first sound... Uh, no, the first note, Minecraft, bro. Minecraft. Minecraft flashbacks. Welcome to Builder Simulator. Don't talk too much. Let's go. Uh, this is a demo. I think we should start with a tutorial. When the game uh, releases tomorrow, we will <laughs> play it as a full game. <laughs> Bill, please stop. Welcome to the Builder Factory. Yeah, welcome you're to. You're wondering why you're in this place. No. It's just because the game designer wanted the level to be small. My name is Bill Dern. Holy I'm crap! Is this beautiful? <laughs> Guys, through the game mechanics. Let's start with the basics. Oh, it's lagging. Follow me. Bro, oh, I don't right, want don't to follow you. This game is so beautiful. Holy crap. I, I joke to you. Guys, I love the game. Tool wheel is available under the scroll or under the left bumper on the gamepad. Right <laughs> you look like a little cracked Wally. <laughs> uh, open the wheel tool. How to open? Ah. You'll always have a task list available regardless of the game mode. As soon as you move the controller, the game swaps the controls to it. This way, you'll never get I lost. don't can't Fantastic. My maker always said, oh, no. everything needs a solid base. Oh. Let's start with foundation. Select a shovel from the tool wheel and dig the area for foundations. Uh, okay. Not what I expected, but... I think it's okay. Form works and reinforcements. As a real builder, you have to use the store to get the materials you need to build. Press tab or select on gamepad. <laughs> You're so small. Uh, press tab to open the tablet. Now on the left is a list of available categories according to the stage of construction. Bro, you can please, you buy. my eyes, One, make it dark mode. 100. Buy 100 form works and reinforcements. Have you ever heard of following the procedure? I bet you didn't. No, Great I didn't. <laughs> Did you know that my please, down the my eyes. Or the right trigger on the gamepad. Uh, no, I need this. In the blink of an eye? Each stage of construction shows holograms. To help you visually indicate ah, the stage I need first. You know the joke oh, about this is so works, nice. Please stop talking. Great. Next up is reinforcement. Oh, I love it. Click or hold. It is like Minecraft. But in... I, bro, I don't know what to say. I love the mechanics. Good job! Now it's time for the creme de la creme! Creme de la creme? Pouring the foundations! Ooh. Go to the wheelbarrow and pour concrete over the foundations. Yeah, give it to me! Can I slap you? Uh, no. I don't see the concrete. Use the wheel by arrow to park and... No way! Ah, I should use the hands. Ah, okay. And <laughs> bro. No way. Normally, this should. What type of 
construction are dogs good at? Roofing! Roofing? Why? Please explain to me why roofing? Please explain it. I know jokes to explain is not funny, but please explain me. Roofing? I don't get it. so much ah, I can ah, this is nice should go a little bit faster that's it for this part thank I'll you, see you with the concrete fixer in a bit. go to the next story yes So, You're probably wondering how come you had concrete in your wheelbarrow in the previous level? The game designers didn't want the stage to be too long. Okay. Let's find out how to make it. I love long games. Really. Choo -choo! <laughs> so what, what we have to do two next? Types of mixes. Oh. Mortar and oh. concrete. That's the concrete. Join the blocks. Concrete, on the other hand, is used for foundations. Let's start by turning on the concrete mixer. You will lose one dollar for each second to leave the concrete mixer on. So make it quick and effective. All the ingredients you need can be found around the concrete mixer. Above the concrete mixer, there are the ingredients you need to create a mortar. Start with the sand. Take your shovel and put some in. Bro, oh, I don't know. Ah. Great. Now it's time for cement. Add some from the bags on the ground. Lovely. And where's water? Give me some All water, you bro. Is a bucket of water that you can find in your tool wheel. Ah. Holy crap. So now we should have Mr. some nice concrete. Bro, <laughs> this looks you disgusting. Can do it much simpler and faster. Go by the mixer and find the panel. There are three buttons here. Concrete, mortar, and auto switch. Choose the mix you want to create. This time it's gonna be concrete. And click the auto switch to make it automatically. Its cost will be a bit more, but it's way faster. We yeah, have this really fast and nice. Sand and gravel. Ah, because we don't have gravel here. I'll improve your quality of life even more. Yeah. You have to drive around with a wheelbarrow all the time. Open the tool wheel and choose the wheelbarrow. The game will teleport the wheelbarrow under the mixer at no additional cost! Hmm. How oh, cool is that? Uh, I think this is normal. Speed, you can pour the concrete from the mixer into the wheelbarrow. Oh, oh I love it. You can do it. We're not going to pour the foundation again because there's no point. But we'll see you oh, this is nice. very soon. Yeah, can I please... Why I can't put it out? Light the hell up, builder! Oh. We have a concrete screen to dig. Enough Easter eggs. Let's go. But guys, I love this game. It is. I don't know why, but it's so lovely designed. Every builder needs a proper concrete screen. What? Let's continue with what we've prepared at the first stage. Get your shovel and dig the ground.
Can I know? Yeah. Oh no, it's like Minecraft. But it is really fast. I don't complain too much. Great. Next up, you need a sand. You can do this in two ways. Okay, I don't know. To... Either by the shovel or by the wheelbarrow. Go to the sand pile and pick up some sand with your shovel. I can't. Then place it in the floor. Nice. The second way is to pour sand from a wheelbarrow. Try putting some sand in the wheelbarrow. What? Great! Now finish sand bedding by pouring the sand over the concrete screen. So to make it faster or what? The wheel on the bill goes round and round. Okay. Thank you for nothing. Oh, holy crap, why? Good job! Nice! Now we have to buy some reinforcements. Every house you build needs reinforcement to make concrete more durable. Okay. Buy 30 grid reinforcements. But you, oh. I know my channel is too new, but please. Now make dark mode of this. Please. Mamma mia! <laughs> Mamma mia, it's me, Mario. Now it's time for concrete. You already have it waiting in the wheelbarrow. Cheating is fun sometimes, huh? I don't Pour see it, it. Ah, yeah. Okay. Have you ever heard of following the procedure? I bet you didn't. What do you mean? I did all good. Great work. It was scarier in previous demo, wasn't it? Building needs an insulation. Fun fact! Really? <laughs> I don't First, know that. In the walls and in the uh, floor needs insulation. First, buy 30 insulations in the shop. Holy crap. Now place the insulation over. Am I a joke to you? Why? What did I do wrong? Perfect! We're nearly done. Use a wheelbarrow and pour out the final concrete layer. What? I don't understand, but I think some real builders can approve it. Yeah, I think I can play the game all the day. <laughs> but I must That's wait till, till tomorrow. Now you're done with the concrete screen glue. So what did we need next? From now ah, on. stones. Simulators must reflect reality, but we have prepared a lot of interesting solutions for you that will speed up your work considerably. See you later, excavator. Okay, next tutorial. Let's go. After a while, crocodile. It's time for the load-bearing walls. Oh, nice. Quickly. I love to build the walls. To the Batmobile uh, uh, training room. Batmobile. Okay, thank you for nothing. Thank you for nothing. Can I kick you? In our game, there are three types oh, of no. walls. Bearing, three types of walls. Concrete petition walls. Trust me, it's the most rewarding part of the construction. Yeah, I really think You'll rewards the are the best. Immediately. You'll need to get hollow blocks from the shop. Buy 100 of them now. Mamma mia! 
fantastic! Now it's time to pick up mortar. You can find it in the wheelbarrow. Select trowel and pick up mortar from the wheelbarrow. Once collected, it remains on the trowel until the resource in the wheelbarrow is exhausted. Ah, we need it on a shovel. That way you don't have to go back and forth. We're taking notes from the last demo, huh? In Builder Simulator, we have a leveling system that allows you to build houses faster the more you build them. Try it out by placing the first hollow block. Use the trowel to lay the mortar on the hollow block. Great! Now place the hollow block on it. Level up! I never thought someone would level up from the first hollow block. Now you've unlocked double hollow block placement. Give it a try. What do you mean with double? I love that I don't must run every time for the concrete, uh, for the, yeah, model, model combat You're online. Oh! Holy oh, this is good. But I don't understand this thing. Yeah, don't talk, I want to build! Let's put up the scaffolding. Scaffolding will be very helpful when working at heights. Select a scaffolding from the tool wheel. What? You can rotate it by clicking the right mouse button or left trigger. And not only that, you can also move it very precise with the scroll wheel. Good work. You can climb the ladder by clicking on it. What is one Intel? The twelfth layer is the lintel layer! Never heard of it? No. Its task is to transfer the weight from the opening to the adjacent walls. Above every doors and windows, you need to place one. Buy one lintel from the shop. I have. Right. Oh no! Why are you doing this? Hologram. Fabulous! Part of the walls is to set the ceiling when you reach the right height. Ceiling holograms will automatically appear when you fill in the blocks on the last layer. <laughs> and this is the moment Bakua. when you have to place the ceiling blocks. Buy 20 ceiling blocks from the shop. I would say the sky's the limit. <laughs> but for us, it's ceiling blocks on each level. <laughs> Enough dad jokes. Put the ceiling blocks in the hologram. I have. Extraordinary. After your work, dismantle your scaffolding. <laughs> I love this game. This way, when your house is built and beautiful, you can oh. take a picture of it. Yes, we do have photo mode. Wait, but how? How to do the photo mode? I don't know. If you're happy and you know it, then let's clap. Bro, I really don't know what he wants from me. Oh, now I understand. I can destroy it with it. Bruh. <laughs> Hello. I don't see you. Hello. Yeah. Doors and windows. Oh. Yeah, I guess I'm really hyped. I want to play it in the real version. Yeah, I'm following you. Come on. Come on! Every building needs a door to enter and windows to bring light into the house. Our game is no different. Remember from the previous stage when um. you inserted the lintels? You don't have to do it this time. 
Holy cow! This is nice. Put in doors and windows. Let's start with doors. Buy one outside door. I need one hammer. Please. Select it from the inventory. Oh, and let me wait. You may notice that the door is in the wrong position. Adjust it using the scroll bar. Can I beat you up? Hologram will turn green when it's done. The spirit level moves with the door and will show you the correct position. With the uh, Great job. Now you have to screw in the hinges. Choose a drill and insert the necessary screws. All the screws that need to be screwed Yeah, in I'm a really bad guy. Imagine using a screwdriver. Now it's time for wedges. Wedges, give me wedges. On the highlighted areas. Now you know how to insert a door. You can nice. Open and close them by clicking on them. But Don't is it not wrong? We'll we must put later. some overlay Amazing. on this thing. Let's move and then the doors windows. or not. There are two types I'm a little bit confused. Any window under two meters on the planner is a standard home window. Likewise, any window over two meters is already a patio window. You dictate the terms on the planner and choose what size windows you want to insert. For the purposes of the tutorial, you will insert a single window. By okay, window, why I can't shot. screw it? Nicely done! Now try inserting them just like a door. Same principle, same fun! Now it's time to put in all the... Bro, why I must wait for you? Next step. Insert the wedges. Insert them by simply clicking on the hologram. Support wedges are used to support and stabilize the window in the window opening. Did you see how the foam filled itself after the wedges were inserted? We thought that doing it manually would be boring, so we automated it. Yeah, it, was, it would be a little bit boring. requires a sill or threshold. Adjust it like you did with uh, and door. bro. Great. Look at the patio window next to you. You can see the difference. That's everything for doors and windows. Remember, you decide how you want your house to look. Oh. See you in the next stage. I really like to see this tutorial, to play this tutorial because it, I don't know, it's fun. I'm typical of a guy that don't like tutorials, but this tutorial is nice. Yeah. And should therefore have the best possible sound insulation. Hundred profiles. Let's start with plasterboard walls. Of course, you have to mark them on the planner first. But for the purpose of the tutorial on the partition walls themselves, we've already determined them. You're welcome. To build a wall, you need floor, ceiling, okay, and I wall profiles. Don't like the torrents. <laughs> Now place them in the hologram and screw them in with a drill. Good job. Now we have something to screw the plasterboard to. Isn't that amazing? Yeah, very amazing. By 100 plasterboards. Well done. Now place them on one side. But normally... I think you put it. Yeah, you put it with screwdrivers. I was thinking with a hammer, but no. Take your drill out and screw them in. Nice. Every wall needs to be insulated. Rock wool is often used to do that. Buy 20 rock wools in the shop. Excellent. To 
lay the plasterboard on the other side of the wall. You must first lay insulation between. Oh, he. From the inventory and insert it in the missing places. I need one more. Okay. Attach one more plasterboard on the other side. This is how partition walls are insulated. No. The profiles must be fixed to the one screw is missing, bro. And the plasterboards to the profiles. There's also a second type of partition wall. Concrete partition walls. Assembly is very different. First, you need to lay a damp proof course by 20 insulation. Now place it on the ground. Good uh -huh. job. Remember what you've done with bearing walls? You need some mortar. You'll find it in the wheelbarrow. Once the mortar has been collected on the trowel, it remains until you've exhausted the stock in the wheelbarrow. Pretty cool, right? It took our game designers way too long to figure out this solution. Place mortar! Yeah, I place it. Everything's ready for concrete blocks. Don't forget the lintel over the door. Buy 100 concrete blocks and one lintel. You won't need as much. But you never know when inflation will get to the DIY markets. Yeah, Build right. A concrete partition wall. Oh, now we can all build up. That's nice. Uh, the best thing for the game would be shortcuts, I think. For the um for the tools. Yeah, bro, you don't don't the talk too much. Precisely move the stairs to the right and left. Amazing! Hmm, the more I look at them, I think they don't fit. As I am not annoying at all, I will pretend to be your favorite customer. Who does not know what he likes. You need to change them. This also applies to game and software development. Tear them down with your Bams. hammer! Okay, thank you for nice. nothing. Now buy different stairs in the shop. That's by 100. Quick. <laughs> Place the stairs again. See how 
how simple and satisfying it is? No. In this way, you're able to test different solutions immediately without having to monotonously build up the entire structure. I won't make rewards, please stop talking. Thank you, and see you later. Okay, thank you for nothing. Hey, hey, hey! Next stage is surely gonna raise the roof! Follow me! Go faster. The roof, I want the walls, bro. It's not rocket science that every building needs a roof. In our game, you can build several types of roof. Starting with the simplest and most modern. I can't buy it. And Why? Multi slope roofs. For the purposes of tutorial, let's try hip roofs. First, you need to buy a proper blueprint in the shop. Yes, I have. Open the store and buy hip roof. Blueprint. Excellent! When you choose it and look at the top of the building, you will notice a hologram. Use the scroll bar or arrows on the controller to adjust the roof angle. Confirm it when you're done. Great! All you need now are roof beams. Buy some roof beams from the store. Yes. Nice. Oh, the crap, this was expensive. All the necessary roof beams in the hologram. Remember that you can build scaffolding when working at height. Health and safety department is crossing their fingers. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, but I don't like the roof. But I think because I uh, confirmed, I can't change it anywhere else. <laughs> Holy crap. That was intense. Bro. Wool, insulation and plasterboard will be completed automatically. So it's not to create another phone clicker. We highly respect your time. You've already prepared the roof for the tiles. Buy a lot of roof tiles. No! <laughs> but I think it's enough. No? What did I miss? Bro, what did I miss? Everything done. Superb. Put the tiles on the roof. Yeah, they are. Good job. Yeah, thank Part you. Of the roof is still worth completing the gutters. On most sloping roofs, gutters are installed to carry the water to the down pipes. This significantly reduces wetting of house walls during rain and snow melt. Yeah, I know. This is already part of the finishing work. Ah, okay. See you in the next stage. I hope we can make the voice. Bro, what was that? Welcome to the source of our game. What? Planner? We call it planner because it helps you design any house you want, which you then build. Sounds great. You can save your projects, and if you want what? to, share them with other players. How cool is that? I will guide you through the various options available. We will plan the house we have prepared to teach you how to do it. You have four tools to use. Cursor, eraser, and add remove floor. Holy cursor crap. Cursor is set by default. You can find help with every element and tool on the top left corner of the screen. Try to hide and show the help panel. What? Hide and show the help panel? I don't see the help panel. 
Good job. Uh. Let's start with a load-bearing wall. Select them from the element. You can create walls in a line or a rectangle by pressing Shift or X on the controller. Draw the load-bearing walls. What? Good job. Now let's draw the partition walls. We work on a small plot of land, so we cannot overdo. Remember that there are three plot sizes available in the game. Amazing. I think we still need a piece of concrete partition wall. Draw a piece of concrete partition wall. Great. What else we might need? Windows. After all, I love the planner. Likes to peep at their neighbors. The windows are of different sizes. Increase or decrease them as desired. The uh. windows are terrace windows. Insert more windows. Bro. Good job. To get into rooms, we need doors. Insert two interior doors. But we need a door to come in the house. In. Rotate them freely and change the direction of the door opening. See the help panel for available options. Looks nice. Now we need to add an external door to get inside. Yeah, nice. You can check any time whether the building meets the minimum criteria. Now let's put the stairs in. You are free to rotate them, but for the purpose of the tutorial, place them in the indicated position. Nice. I and a nice new floor. What? Add a floor by clicking on the option available next to the eraser. Great. Now you can move freely between levels. Everything you did on the ground floor. I need a path. Please let me put the path in. Except for swimming pools and paths, but that's common sense, right? The load bearing walls of the building go from level to level as the base of the building, and you can't move them after adding a floor. Now, we could also put in a swimming pool and paths. Let's go to the ground floor. A swimming pool is simply a rectangle for which you need enough space to designate. Bro, why is he talking so Draw much? A swimming pool next to your house. Good job. Yeah, I you cut a little bit off because he's pool. talking too much. For so one path pool. taking, he made 21 sentences. Bruh. After you mark out the path, Please stop. Yeah, thank you. Place. I want to play. Great. Thank you. Let's check that we have everything. Amazing. Let's save this project. Call it how you like. Dumb. Tutorial. Let me play until I delete. Oh no! Right. So let's test the planner if we can build something on the planner. I don't think so because I was trying it and nothing happened. But we'll try again. So. How to undo? Yeah. nothing shake all is 
been made, let's say. You don't want to buy it. Because it is too... I can't write more. So now can we load in? Ah, oh, we can't. We can't play it. No way, guys. Thank you very much for playing. This is the tutorial. The game will release tomorrow. I will show you, uh, I think, a series of videos of them. We will build our dream house. We will build a nice pool. And I want good walls and not that what we see in the, you know what I mean. <laughs>